but if a person uh, looks at what should a manufacturer do, like Ford, making a car, making this uh, minivan, and you know, well, it's going to roll over a lot more. Well, then you got to figure out, well, what happens when it rolls over a lot more? Well, it's going to go on the roof. Well, what's going to happen to that roof? If you know it's going to deform, you got to do something about it. And if you know that your seatbelt's going to let loose, you got to do something about it. See? Now, there is no none, no minimum standard at all, no federal motor, motor vehicles safety standard, minimum standard at all that tests seatbelts effectiveness in a rollover. No. So, who's got that obligation? Ford. Ford has the obligation. They've got to figure out how can I get an effective seatbelt that works in a rollover, especially in a minivan, which I know is going to roll over a lot more than a car. Right? They didn't have any. Then they have the rollover problem for the roof. For the roof. So they know for this particular car there was no standard. And we're going to get in a little bit into the, a lot actually, into the NHTSA fight. Uh, but they know, well, NHTSA is coming up with this 216 standard. But the 216 standard doesn't really test real world rollovers at all. At all. It's a, it's a platen test where they push down 120 seconds, one and a half times the weight of the vehicle. And there's no rollover anywhere that's like that. It doesn't test for occupant safety. It doesn't test, doesn't take into consideration multiple rolls. It doesn't take into consideration um, the dynamic factors of an actual rollover at all. Uh, it's a zero mile per hour test. That's all they got. They've got nothing. So they've got no real world, no real world rollover test to determine the strength of the roof. Nothing. And if you if you think about it, what's really going on here? Ford's saying, well, we're not going to do it unless the government the government makes us do it. If the government makes us do it, then we're going to meet whatever the government's minimum standard is. The minimum standard. And as you can recall, when Ford was uh, thinking, well, you know, we might have to meet this minimum standard, they started working it up, not to make the car safe in a rollover situation, but to meet the minimum standard. That's it. Now, what's a minimum standard? I suggest to you the minimum standard would be comparable. Have, have you guys seen, uh, been to the beach and seen um, a middle-aged man wearing a Speedo, those little tiny bathing suits? All right. That's the minimum standard. Now consider this. A, a man, middle-aged man, wearing his Oxford shoes downtown, wearing a Speedo, carrying a briefcase. All right. Can he get a, a, arrested? No. He met the minimum standard. Now is it reasonable? No. It's not reasonable at all. It's the Speedo standard. You're not going to get arrested for it, but you should know better.